Welcome. In this video, we'll walk through the steps to take in APA PsycInfo to find a selection of journal articles that will answer your research question. We'll start by looking at how to identify key concepts from your question. Then we'll talk about a few strategies that you can use to conduct a well-developed search. Last, we'll save the search and a few relevant results so that you can access both again at a later date. While well, I'll use the APA PsychNet platform, the strategies discussed in this video are appropriate for any version of APA PsychInfo. A topic that's being discussed quite a lot right now is the psychological impact of COVID-19 on individuals, families, and communities. Let's say you're particularly interested in resilience and how it can help individuals cope during a time of crisis. From this topic, you craft the following research question. How does resilience affect the psychological impact of life during the COVID-19 pandemic? Before you start searching, identify the most important concepts from your question. You can use these concepts as search terms in APA PsychInfo. Resilience and COVID-19 are the two main concepts that we'd want to use in our sample question. But what about psychological impact, or just impact? While it's tempting to include terms like impact, success, effectiveness, and benefits into your search, leave these out. They'll cause you to miss articles if authors don't use the same terminology. And chances are journal articles will address these concepts without needing to search for them. With our two search concepts in hand, let's go into the advanced search page on APA PsychInfo. From here, we could simply type resilience and COVID-19 into the boxes and select the search button. But let's develop our search just a little bit more. COVID-19 might be referred to in the literature in many different ways, such as 2019 novel coronavirus, or just coronavirus, or COVID-19. Furthermore, some researchers may talk broadly about pandemics rather than naming COVID-19 specifically. We can include all of these variations by typing them in the first search box and including an OR in between them. We're telling APA PsychInfo that we want items that address COVID-19 or coronavirus or 2019 novel coronavirus or pandemics. So, using an OR is a quick way to find more articles on your topic. I'll also put quotes around COVID-19 and 2019 novel coronavirus. Without quotes, the database might search for each word individually, which will yield some very off-topic results. Using quotation marks tells APA PsychInfo to search for these concepts as a phrase. For resilience, I want to capture articles that use the terms resilience, resiliency, or resilient. A quick way to do this is to delete the CE on the end of resilience and add an asterisk. An asterisk looks for multiple endings after the root of the word. So here, we'll capture all three variations without spelling them out in our search. This is called truncation. This search looks good enough to get started, so let's select the search button. Our search on APA PsychInfo found quite a few results. To narrow our search a little bit, let's use the filters on the left-hand side of the screen. I can select the journal link underneath the publication type heading to only find journal articles, or I can select the peer-reviewed journal link to narrow the results down to articles from peer-reviewed journals. Looking at the results, I'm seeing quite a few articles that might help to answer our sample research question. I'm going to select the title of the fourth result to look at it a little more closely. Here, you can read the abstract to see if the article will be valuable for answering your research question. If you're affiliated with an academic institution and you access APA PsychInfo through your library's website, you should see your library's full text finder logo on the right-hand side of the page. Using it will link you to the full text of the article if it's available or allow you to request the article through interlibrary loan. Scrolling down a bit to the index terms heading, 
you'll see a list of descriptive phrases added to the article by APA's professional indexers. You can use these index terms to find even more relevant articles. For example, searching with the index term resilience psychological might lead to more on-topic results. You can also use the APA thesaurus located on the top of the page to identify additional index terms to add to your search. On the results page, save the items that you want to be able to quickly access again by selecting the box next to each title. Now go to the top of the results and use the email icon to email your selection to yourself or select the star icon to add them to your list of saved items. If you aren't already signed into your free My PsychNet account, you'll be prompted to do so before you can use this feature. Because we took the time to craft this tailored search, let's also save it and set up an email alert to receive notifications when new articles relevant to our research question are added to APA Psych Info. We can do this by selecting the Save icon and the Email Alert icon on the upper right-hand side of the results page. In summary, finding journal articles to answer a research question is as easy as identifying your key concepts from your question and searching with them in APA Psych Info. Include synonyms, quotes, and truncation when appropriate, and use the filters on the left-hand side of the results page to refine your search further. When you're happy with your search, make sure to save your results or create an email alert to receive new articles on the topic. Thanks for watching. For more tips and strategies, please see our YouTube channel or visit the APA website.